what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about my NECA Terminator Ultimate Police Station Assault T-800 figure. Now of course this is based on like the actual Terminator has appearance aliens, you know, how we know him to be, you know, especially when they got into like Terminator 2 and like 3 and all so on, you know. This is actually like the look that became like, I guess you could say his trademark with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger wearing the shades and like the black jacket and the shirt and all that, you know, and the guns, you know. <laughs> So yeah, I'm kind of excited about this this particular figure, you know, because I know I was hearing some of the people saying like a spot, like the review spot. I know he was kind of complaining about it. It's just saying only the Terminator instead of saying like the uh, police station assault Terminator or T-800. It just says the Terminator only, you know, so that would seem kind of confusing, you know, and I kind of understand what he mean by that, you know. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about this, and of course this is based on the Terminator from the original 1984 film, which is directed by James Cameron, and I have it right here. As you can see, my Blu-ray, <laughs> and this is like one of my all-time favorite films too. You know as well, you know. So yeah, I'm going to just talk about this. As you can see, this is like the box art for it. You know, now this poster wasn't really on like any of the. Um, I think they actually had created this for like one of like the, the videos that was like released. You know, when they did like a certain version of the video. You know, because this wasn't like a theatrical poster, as you can see. Which has an on on the front with a T800 Terminator. Now it says Schwarzenegger at the top and then Terminator. And on the side it has like that, that bar thing, you know, that's kind of in the Terminator movie, like when it's actually coming on, I guess you could see like the credits. And it says The Terminator, NECA Real Toys, you know. And on the back you actually have images of like the figure itself too, as well, like the various, like, I guess you could say poses and accessories that he comes with. Another thing that's kind of cool about it, it had, like, I know, like, a lot of NECA figures, like, on the back of the boxes, it gives, like, a description of, like, the story or something like that from the film. But this right here does it. It just actually has, like, a bunch of, like, technical, like, stuff. I guess being that this is, like, a cyborg, like, the Terminator itself, you know, it doesn't really, like, you know, I'm not even going to bother to read it, you know, because it's, like, it's all, like, a bunch of, like, numbers and, like, that technical, like, stuff, you know. So I'm not going to bother. Like, one of them, I can actually say, you can, I can read, like, it says, set up. Move data for a VTOC and anything you know I'm saying, so I'm not, not going to touch on all that because it's like technical stuff. Being it, I guess this is like a cyborg, you know. So I think that's kind of cool that they did that too, you know. I like when you actually open the box, you see like the uh, the figure on the inside too, as well. As you can see, there's like Arnold in the box with a T800. You also get to see what he comes with too, as well as like accessories. I like this image they have of him, like this background where it looks like he's in the police station. Cause you know, that's when he was trying to go get Sarah Connor, you know, and Kyle was in there too as well, you know. <laughs> awesome moment, you know. Now also on the back it says that this has three interchangeable heads, two pairs of hands, two machine guns, and a pistol. So I'm going to just open this on up and get into it. As you can see, this is the background that the uh, the figure comes with. It looks like it's like on the uh, like a road or something like that, you know? It looks like kind of the end of the movie where he's chasing them like on a the motorcycle. Right. See, here's the uh, NECA Ultimate Terminator T-800 Police Station Assault figure, as you can see. And of course, it's based on like the original 1984 film, you know, which is one of my all-time favorite, like I say, like movies, <laughs> which I have right here, you know? And of course, we all know that Arnold would have terminated this film was actual villain this time in the film. You know, he was like a bad guy, you know. So I'm finna go ahead and measure this. I got him on the stand, too. God knows I was having trouble standing him. It looks like he's about like seven inches, like the average height, the normal height for most like necro figures. So what I guess I do now is probably talk about like the accessories that he like comes with and so on. Or I might do the articulation like mixed in with it, but anyway, here I go. Now I know on the back of the box, it, mine it actually says uh, that this has two machine guns, but the Terminator actually only has like a, a machine gun and it's like shotgun. So I think this is what, I think they kind of made a mistake here because he only has like these two weapons right here, as you can see. And he has a pistol too, I'll touch on. So as you can see, here's the shotgun that comes with the figure. Now I've been noticing, like even like in other like videos for this particular figure, that everybody had like their shotgun was actually like bent like that, you know. It has like a bent in it, I noticed. Which is okay, and it probably did, it's been a while since actually I watched it. It probably did look like this in the film, you know. Because Nick is so, <laughs> so true to detail, you know. So I'm going to be surprised that it actually does look like this in the film, you know. 
And here's a machine gun that the uh, figure comes with. Now, it would probably be kind of cool if they added some blast effects with these, you know? I think that would be kind of awesome. So, yeah, I think that's kind of cool. But this does only have one machine gun. It doesn't have two, so I think that could be a mistake there, you know? <laughs> And the, the last actual like gun weapon that he has is this actual pistol, which I do remember him using at the very end when he was on the motorcycle, because like his machine gun had ran out of ammo. Then he pulled his out and started shooting at the uh, I think the, the, the vehicle that uh, Sarah Connor and Kyle was in. Now what I do is touch on the actual articulation of the figure, being that I would have to swap out heads and like the hands and so on, you know. So as you can see here is like the figure itself. You can bend uh, Arnold's like with his arms up like this. You can bend them too as well. They bend or you can leave them like straight. Yeah, that would bend too as well. You can like uh, tilt his body forward like that kind of, you know, and back like that. He can't really like twist that well, you know. And here's like his head. You can turn it like left, you no know, right, kind of up and kind of like down. And I must say, this does look like an Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, even like the shades, you know. I'll touch on like the other heads too as well. His knees can be uh bent too, as you can see. You can bend the knees. They can even go up. Like that, you can do stuff like that with her. And there's a split. <laughs> yeah. Feet can be uh, turned too. You can turn the feet. They have like that, 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 that thing they call it the pelvic thing. That tilt thing, I forget what they call it. Yeah, you can turn them and so on, you know. The hands can be turned too. I like how the jacket feels like very realistic too. You know, you can actually like almost like you can kind of like open it almost I think that's kind of cool and you can set the gray shirt underneath it would be kind of cool they had that bullet hole in his chest right there from the movie when he was shot in his chest you know but I guess that should have been better for like a battle damage but which they do have too you know but I think that does look pretty good I like how the jacket looks exactly like it did like on the film too you know you have like these uh this belt that's hanging from it too as well I think that's kind of cool Cause it looks like you can actually fasten them too if you want. You can actually fasten the jacket together kind of if you want, you know. But I'm not gonna buy it, you know. I like the uh the detail like in uh, the gloves of the T eight hundred. I think that's kinda cool. I noticed they have like this wet slick look to them too. It's kinda interesting. I like the bullet holes like on uh, the jacket too as well. I think that's kinda cool. And they're like bloody too. And they're also like on the back too as well, like the, the bloody like bullet holes. I think that's awesome. And he also has like the uh the chain like stuff like on his boots too as well, like he did in the films, you know, in the movie. And he also has a bullet hole right here in this arm too as well. As you can see, like in this actual arm. So now now what I do is talk about the uh the actual head accessories that uh the T eight hundred Terminator comes with too as well. Now I already took one of the head that he came with off and that was this head right here, you know, that was actually on it which I was already giving like a discussion on. Like I said, it does like Arnold. So what I do now is put on the actual head after he had pulled his eye out in the mirror, you know, when he was in like the, uh, the motel or hotel, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. But as you can see, this particular head, it really does look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, it really does. I think this is probably the best I've ever seen of the figures that I have, you know. That is really amazing. It really looks like him, you know. And especially like from the like, from the side, you know, when you do it like that, it definitely looks like all like arm, you know. I like how you can see like the uh, endoskeleton like eye underneath. That's cool. It would be cool if he actually was glowing too, you know, they actually could have it like glowing. I think that was awesome. The hair is just like oh one, you know. So what I'm gonna do now is put this on the figure. Okay, here's uh, the T-800 without the uh, battle damage here, as you can see. 
That is really amazing. That really does like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think that's so cool, you know. Especially from like those side angles. If you do it from the side, oh, that looks like him, you know. <laughs> that's so amazing. I think this is probably the best I have ever seen of of the uh, the figures that I have, like based on Arnold, you know. Now the uh, the 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 last head I talk about is this head right here, which is like the kind of like right before he was like burned up completely. This one, I think he was like ran over by like the truck, like the eighteen wheeler truck. I think it was an eighteen wheeler. I know it was a truck, like a semi tractor trailer, whatever you want to call it. He got like this after he was ran over by it. Then he took took control over the truck, you know. That still kept pursuing like Sarah and Kyle. Even this looks exactly how he did like in a movie. You can see more of like the endoskeleton and stuff, you know. And like guy's blood, you can really see that endoskeleton like underneath too as well. That is awesome. Boy, it really does. He even had the blood like, like that drool on his lip. I remember him having that in the movie too. He did have like that blood line trail on his lip, on his mouth. Just like that in the movie too, you know. That is awesome. You see here's like the third and the final head that comes with the figure. This is when you can see like more of the uh the endoskeleton underneath after Arnold was ran over by the uh the truck. Boy that does look exactly how he looked it too. Like I can say even like the, the blood trail like coming out of his mouth <laughs> too right there. That was like in the movie like that too as well. I think that's cool. Yep, I think this is probably like the best that I have seen of the ones that I have, you know. The best owner I've seen, you know. It really does look like him. The other accessories and the final accessory that the figures come with are these like hands, you know. You have like these two like gripping hands. And you can tell these are the ones that's like, are, like battle damage, you know. I guess after he's like ran over by the, uh, or I guess you could say doing a police assault. But more than likely doing these after he's ran over by that truck. Cause they look like damaged and like bloody and even the glove is all like damaged, you know. Now these I be for some reason could have been done better, you know. But they still look okay, you know. And you have uh, two of them, you have a right and a left one. As you can see here is like the other one. And they're like bloody and damaged. Yeah, to put on like the uh, battle damage hands too as well, which you can see. Like I said, I feel like those could have probably been done better, you know. But I like how they look bloody and like wore out. But I think that shiny, like glossy look still is kind of, you know. But I guess that was how I read it in the movie, you know. I can't really remember it too well, you know. But it does look cool that it's like battle damage, you know. Because I was after he was ran over by like the truck. As you can see here is the terminator with like both like guns like in his hand, the machine gun and the shotgun. <laughs> Cause he did use both of these on like the, uh, the police station assault sequence. He had both of these guns. I'll be back. <laughs> they went in his hand uh, pretty good. I kinda had to use like the hair dryer, you know, but they went in pretty good. Sarah Connor. <laughs> Still in uh, the T eight hundreds hand too as well. <laughs> yeah, I could say this is used when he was on the motorcycle because he had ran out of ammo. I remember that he pulled this out of his jacket and was shooting at him. <laughs> Another thing I know is you can actually put this pistol in his jacket if you want to as well. You can actually put it inside like that if you want. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> Now here's a size comparison with both my NECA Terminator figures. This is the uh, NECA Terminator 2 Ultimate T-800 figure. And this is the NECA Ultimate Terminator T-800 police station uh, assault figure, you know. Of course, I think this one looks better, you know, the part 2 one, you know. But they're both like pretty good. They're both like the same in height, you know, 7 inches, you know. <laughs> okay, that was my NECA Ultimate. Well, the term NECA Terminator Ultimate Police Assault, well, Police Station Assault T-800 figure. Cause like I said, they have so many ways they said, you know. So, yeah, um, I would definitely recommend this figure. I guess if anything I noticed I had trouble with was actually having him to, like, to stand, you know. That I actually had to put him on the stand to actually get him to stand. So, I think that's probably one of my only problems with it, you know. But I know, like, a lot of like, the figures from NECA are like that, too, as well. 
Now there is like another one I would like to get, but I know at this point it's kind of hard to find. You know, it's like the Tech Noir version too. I would love to get that one if I can, you know. But I know it's kind of hard to find that one. I know it's kind of pricey too, if I'm not mistaken, you know. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this figure. And of course, this is based on the Terminator from this movie right here, 1984, you know, directed by James Cameron and star Arnold Schwarzenegger as the T-800 Terminator, you know. And he was, of course, the villain in this film, you know. And this is one of my all-time favorite movies too as well, you know. <laughs> So yeah, I would definitely recommend picking this figure up, you know. So that's me talking about the NECA Ultimate, well, NECA Terminator Ultimate Police Station Assault T-800 figure. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well. I'm looking for Sarah Connor. I was told that she was here. Could I see her, please? Where is she? I'll be back. Get out.